Hey y'all, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sapphire Turner. Um, I am the owner of Amazingly Grace Creations LLC, where I handcraft many different items such as soy candles, soap, I do embroidery, I sew, I do t-shirts, I do all of the above. You name it and I do it, all right? So this evening, I am going to be, excuse the, the little noise in the background. I have four children, so it could get a little wild around here sometimes. But, um, yeah, so tonight I'm going to be making soy birthday cake candles. All right, and this is the jar that I'm going to be making, um, that I'm going to be using, actually, um, this evening. This is like, I, I think like a five ounce jar. Really cute and simple. All right, so I got this jar from, um, where did I get this jar from? From Joann's. So yeah, you can get your little jars from like Joann's or, um, I'm sorry, not Joann's, I'm thinking about Joann's, Michael's. I got this jar, this specific jar from Michael's, but they got j uh, jars like in the Dollar Tree, um, Michael's, Joann's. Um, you can really find like candle jars in any store, Target. So yeah, so this is the jar I'm gonna be using. Um, I got my Mod Podge, excuse the little, I've been doing a lot of decorating, so got glitter all around it and everything. So this is the Mod Podge that I'm gonna be using to um, put my sprinkles on. These are the rainbow sprinkles that I'm gonna be using to decorate my I'm just excited. I'm just a little excited, so excuse me. But um, these are the rainbow sprinkles that I'm going to be using to decorate on the inside of my jar to make it look like a birthday cake candle. So, actually, this is part one because um, when I put the sprinkles on the inside, I have to you have to give it time for the glue to dry. So that takes a couple of hours, maybe like an hour or two. Um, I usually do another method, but I'm going to keep that to myself for right now. I'll disclose that in another video. But yeah, so what I'm going to be showing you today is just how to do the Mod Podge and do the sprinkles. And then I'm going to come back for part two on showing you like how to, you know, pour and the temperatures and things like that um, in the second part. So here we go. All right. So you want to have like a paintbrush. Or you can also use a, um, what is it, a sponge brush. I have a lot of sponge brushes, but unfortunately, I put it up somewhere and I just didn't feel like looking for it right now. And this is the first thing that I found. So I'm using a paintbrush. Um, you can get your sponge brushes and stuff from, from Michaels too. You can get everything from, Mike, from Michaels, okay? Basically, everything that's in this tutorial, you can really get from Michaels, okay? Except for... Um, well, they sell spring, Michael sells sprinkles too, so yeah, but I got this from Shot Right. Um, so okay, so here we go. All right, so just give me a second, y'all. All right, so and I'm back. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and begin my Mod Podge. I'm gonna go ahead. This glass just gonna break tonight because it keep falling out my hand. I'm just gonna begin to paint on the inside of the jar as much you can paint as much as you like. You know, it's to your liking. Paint on the inside. And remove that. Okay. Really just paint all. I mean, not paint. Well, it, yeah, it is like you're painting. Just put your glue on the inside of the jar. Right.
Remember, it's to your liking. It's not to please nobody else. It's what you like. So you do it how you like it. You don't have to do it how you see me doing it. I'm just trying to give you an example of how to do it. All right? So, yeah. All right? So the inside of my jar, all around, is painted. All right? So what I'm going to do next... I am going to, let me see if I put this so you guys can see the, see the jar. Okay, so that's not gonna work. Okay, there we go. All right, so what I'm really gonna do, kinda just really just take my hand and just put the sprinkles on the inside of the jar. Just like that. Okay. And listen, y'all, when this come out, when it dries, it's going to be so dope. Okay. Then you just want to kind of spread the sprinkles around so that it can get to the glue. When the glue dries, it's gonna dry clear anyway, so. And when you put the, um, once you put the, um, the wax in it, the wax is white, so you don't really have to worry about how the jar looks at this, at this time. Okay. Let's make sure. Okay. A little bit more to make sure you don't miss nothing. And oh, this could get a little messy, so make sure that you're in a you know the right area. Okay, I'm just rolling it around to make sure that I get the areas that I can. And two, if you're not satisfied, you can also take the paintbrush and just go over a couple of spots that you don't see the sprinkles in. Okay, just dip dab, just dip, just dip dab, dip dab. However you desire, doesn't matter. Okay. There's really actually no right way or wrong way to do this. In the end, it's gonna come out perfect anyway, so. Okay. And there you have it. So. This is how it, let me take this off, this sticker off. Okay, so this is how it's gonna look. Look at that. Now y'all can already tell that this right here, it's gonna be cute when it's, when it finish, when it's done. Okay, so that's, just simply all that you have to do to make a birthday cake candle. You can put the glue wherever you desire in your jars. You could do glue like maybe, you know, like around the jar, maybe about this much all around the jar. And then you can skip half of this part and then start again with glue at this top. Listen, you can do it however you desire to do it. All right, and this is the outcome of it. All right, so you just have to let the glue on the inside dry, which will probably take like an hour, hour and a half. Not really that long, because it doesn't take that long for Mod Podge to dry. I mean, I didn't, I didn't like drench it in glue. So, excuse me. So, this will be drying really soon, and then I will be coming back with the second half of um, showing you how I make my birthday cake candles. All right? So, um, oh, and if you have not, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would really appreciate it. Please help me out, y'all. 
I'm gonna be coming up here with some dope videos. Basically, just how to's. I'm gonna be showing you a lot of how to's um, videos, how to do candles, how to do soap, how to make this, how to make that, how to sew that, how to embroider that. So you don't wanna miss it because here's the thing. We are in the middle of a pandemic, okay? And hush. Oh, that's my little Malachi. That's the one that like to start a lot of. Um, but yeah, we are really in the middle of a pandemic, okay? And with this other COVID Omni, whatever the name is, um, it's coming to take people out for real, for real, okay? So unfortunately there probably is going to be another lockdown. And so while we are stuck in the house with our children, our families, we want to have something to do. We want to stay occupied. All right. So this is the reason, this is my reasoning for wanting to do these videos to keep myself busy as well as my children and to also teach you all, you know, how to do something new, you know, teach y'all how to just just something that that is fun something that is amazing and it'll keep your mind busy as well all right so please 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 like and subscribe i would greatly greatly appreciate it if you would i'm going to put my um how i can be found as well facebook instagram TikTok, in the description below and if you like this video, comment below. Let me know what you like about it. Let me know who you are. Let's 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 converse. Like let's talk. Let's mingle. Let's make me friends. You feel me? So, yes. All right. So, stay tuned for part 2 cuz we will be back. All right. Blessings and peace.